Shalom, who praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem El-Shai, Ba'ashem El-Rakar Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, and Shalom to the whole full let. This is um, Payal of the Jemus London Camp, and this is News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I have an article here from Zero Hedge. The title reads, North Korea may have fired a ballistic missile. All right. So this is, this is in tune with World War Three. All right, which um, the Bible, uh, the biblical prophecy um, breaks down World War Three. It shows the scriptures that they did. They run cold current uh, to each other. And you're going to see, because I'm going to read two scriptures. So this is um, Revelations 8 and 13. It says, um, let me highlight it. So, uh, Revelation 8 and 13 And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven Saying with a loud voice Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth By reason of the other voices of the trumpet Of three angels which are yet to sound Right, it speak When it says the word woe That denotes uh, That means um, The word woe means destruction and the destruction it's talking about is World War Three, all right? Sorry, World Wars. So that's what it's talking about. So notice how there ain't no World War Four, World War Five, World War Twenty One. There's only three World Wars that I mentioned, all right? And we've had two already. And let's see what the Bible says about um the third one, okay? So it's in Revelations 11 and 14. The second world is past. All right, World War II. That was from 1939 to 1945, dealing with Hitler and the Nazi regime. And um, World War is popping up all over the all over the, all over the gaff. Uh, Mussolini, all these diff various, you know, parts, you know, of the World War Two that happened going back to 1939 to 1945. So it's past, right? That's in the past, right? It's history. The second world is past, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. Right? So it said the third world cometh quickly. And remember, 1,000 years down here is one day up there to the Heavenly Father. So what seems like a long time, because someone would say, oh, it's nearly been 100 years since World War to happen yeah but according to the time scale that the heavenly father works upon that that's that's a that's not even long all right and more so what you even got to think about is straight up out of um world war Two, more or less the world moved into the the era of cold war all right the cold war should i say where um the german scientists were divided among the Americans and um, and the Russians, and basically there's been a covert war that's been going on since more or less the 1950s, all right, between America and Russia, and it ain't stopped, all right. It may have seemed like the USSR, you know, fell for a moment, but it's still the war is still, you know, up and thriving, all right? And that's because the third world cometh quickly, all right? The Heavenly Father never took his foot off the pedal in terms of his World War Three. So, again, this goes back to the point I was going to say. So, this even more so, this, this third world war is going to be different from the previous two because it's going to be based around ICBMs, all right? Thermonuclear warfare. And that's why technology has moved far from the atomic bomb that the B-52 bomber dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan, all right? But that basically was set up as the the, the, the stepping stone moving to world, towards World War Three, which is going to be, like I said, a thermonuclear war between all the nations on Earth, all right, where mainly America will be destroyed and turned into the lake of fire spoken of in the Book of Revelations. And um, even NATO and the EU are going to fire their missiles upon America as well, alongside Russia 
and various other nations. But so let me read it. it says it's Isaiah nine and five for every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. So you had old form of warfare in the time prior to this quantum leap or um quantum jump of technology that's taken place in the last few hundred years. Going for human history, um, the history of man is around six thousand years, and we're saying for for the greater part of that six thousand years, something like five thousand six hundred seven hundred years, eight hundred even, the technology was more or less the same. It's only in this time the technology has been moved so far forward, and that's really down to the point of what to fulfill prophecy. All right, for the ICBMs to play out in this World War Three, all right, and these are all the cogs in the machine, this tech, all right, and the, the eyes of a man, all right, wisdom being increased, it is all prophetic words in the Bible. So it says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this war that's going to come is of World War Three. is going to be done with ICBMs. So that's why this information here in this article North Korea may have fired ballistic missile is of great importance right because it shows you that really North Korea is a proxy or an extension of China and Russia right so this is moving towards you know moving the pieces on the chessboard towards World War 3 right and obviously World War 3 is after the prophecy of um, the chip Right, the mark of the beast. Okay, so it shows you that it's more, and the the mark is more or less around the corner. All right, any day from now, the mark is going to be established. All right, any moment, and then once that's done, you can see World War Three is ready to break out. All right, so it shows you how close to the end we are. All right, and that's why these we do these videos because it lets you know we're measuring the time diligently we're making you aware to repent unto the lord right to prepare for his coming so it says just days after north korea was as was confirmed to have resumed test missile launches when last weekend it fired two short range missiles off the west coast kim jong-un appears ready to test the resolve test the resolve of joe biden and joe biden sleepy joe everyone thought he's going to be better than trump and they don't realize how good Trump was compared to compared to what Biden it where Biden is 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 taking the world in America, all right? Because he he bombed um the Syrians. Man, how does it escape me? He I believe he bombed Syria, and said America's back. <laughs> um, so that lets you know what his whole idea of America is. And if that's America back, he wants to, you know, maintain that and keep it going forward. All right. So this shows you that it's setting it up for World War Three. You know, Kim Jong Un was, you know, ready to, you know, to see if he's really about that life. Earlier today, we reported that it was belate, belatedly re revealed late Tuesday that North Korea had fired two short range cruise missiles off the west coast into the sea on Sunday morning, according to confirmation by South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff. Um, the details were as follows. Sunday morning, the 21st, of quote-unquote, uh, or bracket, um, brackets, in brackets, authorities, uh, spotted two suspect, suspected cruise missiles in Onchon, South Ponyong area. The military said, underscoring that it knew about the tests in real time Though it's the first such missile test during the Biden administration, all sides appear to downplay it, including the White House, which dubbed it normal activity. A senior administration of official told press, we see the action in the category of normal activity. All right, so this is just normal affairs to them. All right, so... um. Reading on, it says, describing the unusual... Um, scenario of information not being made public although the mysterious test about the mysterious test curiously neither North Korea nor South Korea had acknowledged the firing of two mi 
the missiles immediately on Sunday, as it routinely done by both as is routinely done by both countries. North Korea typically discloses launches to promote its technological advances, while South Korea provides quick updates to highlight their uh, proactive nature. It also could be that, given the White House, given the White House is busy ratcheting um, tensions with China and Russia via a series of sanctions. And even pre-announced cyber attacks, the U.S. administration is content to look the other way for now and not open up yet another foreign uh, policy route. Downplaying is is precisely what the above-cited admin official uh, sought to do, saying further, North Korea has a familiar menu of provocations Pro, prov, provocations when it wants to send a message to the US administration but uh, but that experts rightly recognise that took place last week as falling on the low end of the spectrum according to ABC President Biden himself appeared to laugh it off when asked by a reporter Wednesday do you consider that to be a real provocation by North Korea not according to the Defense Department. It's business as usual. There's no new wrinkle in what they did. All right? So they're saying this is just normal rumblings of war. All right? <sighs> Be you not angry and ignorant of any small matter, small or great. All right? This is all culminating into World War Three, And this is even biblical prophecy. And I'll show you. Um... Cause they'll, they, you know, someone may read this article and say, well, you know, they're saying it's nothing, it's normal, you know, but this is part of biblical prophecy, you know, it feeds into it and it and it establishes and makes it known what time we're in. So this is Matthew twenty four and six. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, so the end ain't yet, but these are all the signs that lead up to the end. All right. So it lets you know, as we're instructed to watch as well as pray, measure the time diligently, this gives you a gauge on everything that's going on. All right, so it says, um, when asked if it impacts uh, diplomacy, Biden s- simply laughed at the question and walked away. Reporter on North Korea, do you consider what they, what that, do you consider that to be a real prov- provocation by North, North Korea? No, according to the Defense Department, it's business as usual. There's no new, there, there's no new wrinkle in what they did. Will it affect diplomacy at all? Biden laughs. All right. So let me read on um, the last few parts. So it says, incidentally, it was only a little over a week ago that Pyongyang had um, also issued its first direct threat against Washington since Biden entered office. The powerful sister of Kim Jong-un, Kim Yo-jong, uh, warned the United States it must refrain from causing a stink if it desires to sleep in peace over the next four years. All right? If it wants to sleep in peace for coming for for the coming four years, it had better refrain from causing a stink at its first step. She was cited as saying in the state media, so lucky I was daydreaming, man. Let me read that again. If it wants to sleep in peace for for, for coming four years, uh, it had it had better refrain from causing a stink at its first step. She was cited as saying in the state media. So basically saying, you know, if you want to have a peaceful tenure as president, you better watch how you move, all right? So those are those are uh, fighting words, all right? Uh, so reading on it says, um, while just a few hours after he laughed about it, North Korea appears to have escalated once again. It, it, again, it, what is a clear test of Biden's willingness to engage with communist, with the communist regime. When Bloomberg and Reuters quoted the Japanese Coast Guard, which said that a ballistic missile may have 
been fired from North Korea and added it, that it uh, had warned ships against coming close to falling objects. All right. Korea's Yonhap confirmed, reporting that an unknown projectile had been fired into the East Sea off the coast of the Korean Peninsula and asked and adding that the missile did not enter Japanese territory. All right. It is not immediately clear if Joe Biden was woken um, up from his nap to respond <laughs> in response to the latest geopolitical development. Bloomberg adds its own two cents writing that, a that Asian defense related stocks may move afterwards after news the North Korea fire fired a missile. Japanese stocks, including Hawa mach Machinery, Ishi Ishikawa. Kawa, Sishikusha, Hosoya, Pyro Engineering, South, you can read it all there. Um, but yeah, so the point being is, these, as I read in Isaiah 9 and 5, these, the Third World War is going to be a, a firefight between the nations, you know, um, NATO, EU, China, Russia, etc., etc. All right? So, let me read this just to show you about the missiles actually being constructed for that nat for, for what the missiles were made for. All right, because the missiles, they own they're they're extremely specific to this time. All right, Esau Edom is ruling in this in his world, and truly in accordance to the blessing that his father Isaac gave him in the Book of Genesis twenty fifth chapter, which was to rule by the sword. As we know, the Lord told Peter when he smoked. Malchus's ear off of his head and he, he healed him all right putting his ear back on his head and healing him bringing it back anew like it, it never happened what did he say unto Peter? he said those that take up the sword shall die by the sword and basically if you live by the sword you die by the sword so basically it's the same thing with Esau Edom he's lived by the sword he's established his power all right even though he's whitewashed history and made everyone believe that he's ruled forever Really, he's came into power through the Renaissance period, where he basically utilized a sword, all right, and that's basically a curse on him. It's the gift and the curse that you live by. It. You're gonna get loads of wealth and riches, but you're also gonna die by it, and that's the 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 the, the sweet soliloquy of the Most High. You know, the poetic justice. So let me read this. this is Isaiah fifty five and sixteen it says, "Behold, I have created the Smith." All right, that blow off the coals in the fire. Now, when you go back in time to um, in history, like I mentioned before, the, the quantum jump, as you know, the apostles bring out this week, just gone um, with technology making great advances in line with um, the, the prophecy in the book of Daniels. For the whole time prior to that, you would have a smith, all right, and a smith would be specific to work in metals. Right? That's why you'd have a goldsmith, a silversmith, a coppersmith, and then you'd have a blacksmith. A blacksmith would work in the weapons of warfare, all right? basically making um, artillery, um, whether it be um, arrowhead, arrow tips, um, spearheads, swords, shields, um, um, armour, right? helmets, all of that stuff, a blacksmith would be the 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 man to go to, working in uh, with iron upon the anvil. All right. So it says, "Behold, I've created a smith that blows the coals in the fire." But this smith that's being spoken of is a scientist. All right. That basically um, built um, you know the nukes, going back to the atom energy and the nukes and the warheads for for the for that new. Um, as it was going to go into it says and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work and I have created the ways to destroy alright and that ways to destroy are talking about the nuclear war nuclear warheads alright the ICBMs that's all being created for one sole purpose and one sole purpose in in all being World War 3 the day of the end so let me finish on this it's Malachi 1 I oh, sorry it's lucky Malachi 4 and 1 so it reads behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven alright and that's 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 when 
World War Three happens and the ICBMs get to flowing. It says, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and a, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. All right, and that's basically what's gonna happen in this kingdom. All right, Esau's kingdom is on its way out. Okay, and it's all down to the heavenly Father's will being made um, manifest every day. All right, and we pray that this be the last day of the kingdom. All right. So, with that being said, on the next one, Lord willing, you know, you've been edified to the next one. Say, Shalom.